David Olson standing to his left. Zach Mathers directly behind him. Referee Mike Honholtz blows his whistle, and we're underway here at Starfire Stadium. There's the whistle. Spun in from Mathers to the back post and scored. I think that was straight off the foot of Zach Mathers. One minute in, and Sounders, two have the lead. Well, it couldn't have been a better start. I think that's the quickest S2 goal all year. Fantastic start for S2. And you said it, Andrew. I don't think anybody touched that. Really hard for Matt Persano. That's one of the most difficult things for shots for a keeper to stop. I've never played goalkeeper, but you see it happen all the time at every level. You see Mathers whips it in. Persano thinks someone's going to get a touch. It flies through the crowd, skips past him, and there's nothing he can do. Brian Brown, left side for Antoine Hopeno. Hopeno is inside the 18. He shoots and straight into the hands of Tyler Miller. Well, risky looking build up, but in the end, they can't find anything to challenge the S2 keeper. Sounders coming forward four on three. Three Reno defenders trailing behind. Wingo, he's going to go for goal, and he'll miss just shy of the left post. Great counterattack from Henry Wingo. Just gets passed out wide right, using his speed. Ball in from the far side toward goal. That one goes down. It winds up in the back of the net, and Reno have found an equalizer in the 38th minute. In the melee, we couldn't quite tell who punched that in, but it looked like it might have been Jordan Murrow. Yeah, I'm the same boat as you. I cannot tell. Here's the ball in. Miller's in there. Actually looked like Brian Brown. Brian Brown, yep. Third goal of the season for him. And it comes at a big moment. There's not enough tight defending on that near post. Ball intercepted quickly back to Brown. Ahead for Hopeno. Hopeno is in here. To the byline. Cut back cross. Tyler Miller saves. And the second effort lifted over the bar. But Hopeno linked up quickly with Chris Weehan, and Luis Fernandez couldn't finish off the rebound. Looks like Weehan's going to take this. Ball in from the near side, headed toward goal, and that one looks like it might have been stopped cold on the line. It rebounded off a couple players in the box. Had to slow down at some point. This is Wingo. Wingo into the area, onto his left foot. Griffiths just runs him right out of an angle for a shot. Ready to serve in this ball from the far side. Low ball coming inside. Guillotto gets a header to it. That one got punched away from the frame of net. Couldn't quite tell if that ball was on goal, but it certainly looked like it. Into space for Espinal. Rodriguez L closing down. Espinal to his right. Kelly. Kelly space for a shot. It forces a diving stop out of Tyler Miller. And it's gone out for a corner. Espinal and Brown. It's Brown. He goes for goal. He misses wide of the left post. But that ball looked like it was bound for the net. That was a nice hit by Brown. Gets it over the wall. Again, it's hard to tell from these angles how close that is. Etowa, a touch to control. Guy Etowa taking on a defender. He's going to shoot. That ball comes off of Matt Bersano, And it's out for a corner. That's excellent work from Etowa. What a tackle by Zach Mathers. That's showing the drive and desire to try and keep things going here for S2. Here's Etowa, just waiting for that time, finds a little bit of space. Kick quickly taken by Mathers, served into the middle. Man goes down in the box, not going to get the call, but the whistle will blow three times to signify the end of the match. And this one finishes 1-1 between Reno and Sounders 2.